The Sentinel is one of our most requested vehicles for restoration. Even though it's still got its original engines and transmission, given the state it's in, we're still not sure it would actually even be possible. But today, Steve is going to jump in and find out. Oh, it's full of sandblasting grit that gets into absolutely everything. It's going to need a full clean-up exterior and maybe even going a bit internal to make sure that there's no sandblasting grit in it. Wowee, look at this. Read a lot about this tank obviously being Australian and it's dear to many people's hearts in the museum here, but yeah, actually getting to look inside it and see it with the three Cadillac engines jammed in there, it's gonna be a bit of fun trying to bring this thing back to life again. Talk about unique. The fact that someone's put some tape over this fills me with some hope that the electrics that are inside the distributor are in good condition. All right, so it looks a bit rusty and dusty and that sort of thing, but it's not catastrophically bad. The plan is to get the spark plugs out and then see if I can put some power to the starter motor so that we can turn the engine over to see if it's free. Then I'll have a go at putting some power to the distributor and see if we can make it go. This is what you call a real bit of archaeology, huh? What I'm doing now is just trying to blow some of the and blasting grit out of it. I'll give all the spark plugs a good spritz with this, help get it loose. <sighs> These are real old spark plugs that I haven't seen before. Do not fear, we have the technology just back at the bloody workshop. <laughs> Found the right socket for these old-timey spark plugs to um, get the spark plugs out of the engine to make uh, the job easier of turning it over on the starter motor and also we'll be able to put put some uh, lube down the cylinder as well too because it hasn't been turned over for so long. The spark plugs looking remarkably good uh, in terms of the colour of it from when the last time it was run so that's giving me some hope that uh, the engine is in good condition. These are all the spark plugs we've taken out, all eight of them. Yeah, so far nothing terrible. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squirt a bit of um, WD-40 directly into the cylinder of the engine so that when we start to turn, turn it over, there's a bit of sort of initial lubrication in there because it hasn't run for so long. It's probably, it probably doesn't have a lot of oil in it. Australia, back when we used to manufacture stuff here. I'm actually gonna get out and I'm gonna wriggle myself underneath the hull of the tank uh, to go underneath the engine to have a look at the front to see if there's something convenient to put a, a socket and a ratchet on to see if I can turn the engine over by hand. Uh, there's a few bits that have fallen off, nothing too dramatic. I'm not going to be able to turn the engine over by hand because there's not physically the space to get in there with a, a socket and stuff. I can see the starter motor. Oh, I tell you what. Plan B. Plan is, is to jury rig up a connection so I can see if I can put some power to the starter motor to actually get it to click and maybe even turn over. Let's see if I can set fire to something. <laughs> I was just testing to make sure that the battery's live. I didn't plan to do that. Oh! Oh! So I've got part of the starter motor system working, but there's like two circuits. So I'm going to need to get some extra jumper leads, see if I can get it to 
to work, but that's a start. So this is one of these newfangled fancy portable jump packs. I've got to be careful how I connect it up so I don't create a massive short circuit. No. No go, Steve. We tried our best. The first motor we went to, the engine seized. Second engine, I don't think it seized, but uh, just I couldn't get the starter motor to turn. On reflection, the fact that everything's all covered in so much sandblasting grit, I think it's really going to be sensible given the uniqueness of all of this to pull it out, clean it off, do it properly. We can bring this thing back to life. You reckon? Yep. We just need to convince the boss, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, so you and the comments encourage us to get this thing running and we'll make it happen.